When your GOT W3 router arrives from Solid Signal, it comes ready to go. All you have to do is log in and get started. But the Wi Fi password on all of these units is the same, so if you're going to use it somewhere where privacy is an issue, you may want to change that password. You may also want to change the admin password because otherwise somebody else will be able to change the Wi-Fi password right back. You'll find the Wi-Fi credentials on a sticker on the bottom of the router. As far as I know, all the stickers are identical, so if you have any GOTW3 system, you can log in using these same credentials. That may not be a problem if you're, for example, using this in an RV where you're the only one who's there or on a boat miles offshore. Again, that's not a problem. In fact, it'll be easier to log into Wi-Fi because you'll be able to remember the password. But for those folks who are working from home, if your IT department allows it, you might want to change the username and the Wi-Fi password. The first step, of course, is to actually connect to the device choose this wireless network and then press the connect button it doesn't matter if you connect automatically or not that's your choice you'll be prompted to enter the security key which as you get it from the factory is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero if you get this message usually I click yes if I'm at home or at work once you're connected open a browser and type this address 192.168.100.1 that's the address for the router you'll see this page the password as you get it from the factory is admin all lowercase you don't have to save it though now I'm working with test equipment so it says no sim card inserted yours isn't gonna say that click on Wi-Fi settings and scroll down to where it says wireless password Here's where you can actually change it, and I recommend that you do. Put in something nice and secure, and once you've got it, and you've written it down, click Apply. You might also change the login password for the router so nobody can change the Wi-Fi password back. Click on Modify Login Password. You'll have to put in the old password, which is admin, and then you can put in a new password. Again, click Apply. When you're done, close the browser window and you'll be all set. Just remember to write down those passwords and keep them in a safe place. Now, if you've completely messed up and you need to reset the router back to its factory state, it's also very easy to do. On the back of the router, there's a reset button to the left of the red power button. It's right here. So press and hold this reset button with a pin or the end of a pen for five seconds while the router is plugged in and turned on. This will reset everything back to its factory settings and you'll be able to use the sticker on the bottom to log back in again. I personally recommend changing the passwords for both the Wi-Fi and the admin because, well, you just never know. If you change the passwords to something that you'll know and make sure that both passwords are different, you'll be safe and secure. And that's really what you're shooting for.